shit. Yeah. You can't tell me shit. Yeah. Remember I was broke. Yeah. Now I'm getting rich. Yeah. yeah. When you die, I'm colder than a bitch. Then you know you. What is up, guys? It's Normana here, back with another Farming Simulator 2017 video. And today, guys, this week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, I am planning on making three videos for, well, not each day, but Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. There's going to be three videos. There's going to be a video on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday releasing this week. That's what I was trying to say there. All right, we handled it, though. We got it. And um, that's what's going to be happening for the week. So we're going to be trying to get back into making um, videos Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And you know what? It's just going to be a lot of fun, and we're going to hopefully get back what we started in the summer, and we're going to continue that grind to, tw what, are we, what are we going for now? 20,000 subscribers, 15,000 subscribers? Yeah, so that's what we're going to do. So yeah, but today, back on topic here, we are in Farming Simulator, and we are going to be doing some logging. So I'm not sure exactly what episode it is, but I believe it's somewhere around episode number four or five, I'm guessing. So anyways... Uh, we bought the sawmill, and it has fuel and logs in it, wood chips, boards, paper, and empty pallets, so this is all ready, but today we're just going to be working on getting the logs from over there, and we're uh, probably just going to be selling, or wood chipping them and selling them all, so yeah, that's what we're going to be doing today, so, uh, and we do have 167,000, so next episode, maybe, what we'll do is we will uh, work on getting a new... Um, we're gonna be work next episode. We're gonna work on getting some new equipment here instead of just wood chipping. You know, gotta do stuff other than that because you know that might get a little boring for you guys, and I understand that. So yeah, that's what we're gonna be doing. Uh, so let's turn off that. You know, no need to waste uh, extra gas. You know, we're on a budget here. You know what I'm saying? Gotta make ourselves millionaires. To make ourselves millionaires, we gotta be smart with our cash. You guys know what I'm saying? Anyways, let's put this pipe up here. That is gonna be a little goofy. Not gonna lie, but we'll handle it. All right. You know what? We're just gonna keep it there. Honestly. We're going to get some wood chips are going to be flowing in there from last time. And I'm going to turn the time up to 5 so that we can that can go up faster there. Anyways, let's turn on the Scorpion King here and let's uh, get harvesting some trees, shall we? Perfect, perfect, perfect. Alright, so. Let's spin this here since that is obviously the wrong way. Let me readjust my chair here. Alright. There we go. Let's cut that bad boy right there. Turn to the left. There we go, there we go. And the reason I haven't been uploading, guys, is because I've just been really busy with school and stuff like that. You know, it's kind of tough for me to make videos while I'm trying to uh, be, you know, an education, or not an educationer, but be educated. It's a little tough, but we're going to be handling it because, you know, Garrett and Spencer TV do, so I'm confident that I can and I uh, will be. That's for sure. I'm going to be trying, all right? That's what's going to happen here. Uh, we'll probably get all that done, though, you know, just in case... Um, you know, we, we just want to make videos for you guys, you know what I'm saying? It's fun to make videos, and you guys seem to enjoy them, and I'm obviously not going to let go of this amazing community we have uh, built up here. Um, Spencer TV helped me create. Uh, the squad, even Garrett Plays, has helped out, obviously. So, yeah, it's spent a lot of time and work and dedication. I don't want it to go to waste. And besides, I want to give you guys videos so that you can, you know, enjoy my channel, and I don't want... My channel to die, you know, all of that stuff. So, yeah, we're, and we're going to be putting out content that you guys want. So, there's probably going to be a poll that says what games would you like me to play in the upcoming weeks um, somewhere on YouTube. Not not in this video, but yeah. That's definitely what we're going to be doing there. Anyways, let's get this uh, let's get this tree split up here. Perfect. The sawmill is running over there. You see the smoke over there. The logs are a little bit glitchy sometimes. That's the only problem with this, but, you know, they work. They got the job done, you know what I'm saying? Alright, so let's get a big tree. Sick and tired of those little trees, those little, you know, little, small little trees there. We want to get the big ones in, you know what I'm saying? The big boys in. Perfect, perfect, perfect. All right, we are on a little bit of an angle here. That was kind of a weird way to pull in, but that's, uh, you know, it's going to get the job done, that's for sure. All right, let's just push it. There we go, perfect. Right in the middle of the saw, or right in the middle of the uh, conveyor. There we go, perfect. Perfect, let's just spam X here so that all that goes in there. Maybe we'll get two loads of wood, chip done, wood chips done today. Maybe one. We'll see, though. There's our truck over there. A nice truck um, parked. It's uh, it's the black truck. You guys can see it right, be, right in front of the blue uh, car over there. Perfect. Well, you know what I'm going to do? Oh, boy. Let's not do that. I had misjudged that. I really misjudged that. But that's all right. We didn't do any damage there. Perfect. All right, let's grab this tree right here. 
Oh, all right. I guess it doesn't want to split. Let's try this one more time. There we go, there we go, there we go. All right, let's grab this bad boy here. Take it over to the left, and we're going to just push it out. Pull, push. We're going to, we're kind of just going to extend the arm here. It was kind of a weird angle to go, and I don't usually go in from the side like this. And you're obviously not really supposed to, but, you know, that's okay. Got to do what you got to do. Perfect, right in the center there. All right, boys, let's get this bread. Perfect, perfect, perfect. <clears throat> and now, you guys, on my iPad right now, I am doing homework. I'm watching a video on YouTube, and they, like, track what we watch. So, like, they can see that I'm, watch I'm watching the video. So, you guys are uh, kind of doing me a solid here by recording, playing some Farming Simulator, and... And I'm getting my homework done all at one time. So I'm a I'm a multitasker. So you know what I'm saying, guys? You know, Normano. Normano is just uh, more than you guys probably think he is. You know what I'm saying? All right, anyways. I probably should actually be watching the video. Don't take advice from me and do stuff like that. That's not a good idea. All right? But I'm only doing it just because why not? Besides, I already know all the stuff. And besides, like, it, if... I were to watch all this, I would be sitting watching videos on Napoleon for hours. Um, in Napoleon, if you guys don't know who Napoleon is, we're going to kind of go off on a tangent here. Um, Napoleon was a French, a French leader and uh, general as well, not general, but like he was, he was just an important guy in French history and he was good, right? You know, he was, he wasn't that bad of a guy or anything, but he was, so, let's, you know, let's explain, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna explain, I'm gonna teach you guys some history real quick, alright, this guy's, uh, clicks off video, you know what I'm saying, alright, anyways, I'm kidding, don't click off the video since I'm talking about history, but, um, so Napoleon, he killed between 2.5, oh boy, that was an accident, between 2.5 million and 3.5 million people, uh, innocent, innocent civilians, which is an insane amount, which is very, a lot. Um, and he actually exiled multiple people, executed multiple people as well. He exiled this one person that we learned about because of the fact that, you know what he did? Or, I believe it was he or she, I'm not exactly sure. Um, he or she basically wrote bad things about him, was going to publish it, and... He found out about it and exiled uh, him or her from... So, like, that means that he was forced out of the country. Which is pretty, you know, not... Not very, um... Not a very good thing to do because... People have opinions about you. They should be able to express them freely as long as they're not rude or anything. But, you know, Napoleon thought, you know what? I gotta keep my place uh, civil. And I can't have those people doing that. And honestly, it's not that bad of a concept except they shouldn't be kicked out and you know the, he just won like i'm not saying that they deserve to be exiled i don't think it was right for him to get uh for him to exile them at all but um oh let's go to the next assignment here but on the other hand it was um something that he believed was right and probably was considered correct during that century that period of time and because, um, you know, they shouldn't be going up against the king and stuff like that. But, you know, they sh you know they have their own opinions and they should be able to express them. And so it was wrong for Napoleon to do that. Oh, boy, as long as they weren't completely trashing him and writing false stuff. If, it, if they were writing false stuff, then I would understand a little bit. But, I don't know, I would understand more. But if they were writing, you know, true stuff, stuff like that, then it's definitely a very different, uh, <clears throat> a completely different story. But yeah. Anyway, so I went off on a tangent about Napoleon for a bit. Perfect. <laughs> it's alright, though. Um, so, let's talk about my culinary class, guys. I have a lot to talk about with school, because I haven't really, you know, told you guys about this stuff. But, my culinary, whoa, in my culinary class, culinary is cooking, if you guys didn't know that. Most of you probably did. Um, culinary is when, uh, not culinary, so, cooking. I uh, cook food for the school and, you know, for us as a, 
class and stuff like that. And basically today I was, we weren't cooking, which is very rare. We always usually cook. Oh boy, I hit that. We always cook, right? Today we didn't. We had to do some book work for our quiz next week, um, which is understandable, you know. And she was like, um, Normano. She's like, Normano, can you, um, can you, why is there a street lane there? Anyways, you know what, let's, alright, hold that thought, alright? Hold that thought. 167, and let's see what it goes up to. Probably gonna be up to one, I'm gonna guess 195, alright? I got my money on 195, 190, 19, 195, what about you guys? 195, here we come, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, 192, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, we made 30, 29,330, oh boy, $29,337, which is de definitely a very good amount off of that. Um, oh, my headset got weird for that. Alright, anyways. But yeah, anyways, uh, yeah, 29,000, which is definitely a good amount. We'll do a little bit more of uh, that. Maybe we'll, yeah, maybe we'll do another load. I don't know, we'll see. But anyways. So in my culinary class um, today, she was like, my teacher, she was like, all right, yo, yo, Normando, no, I'm kidding. She was like, Norm Normando, um, what I want you to do is I want you to go put these in the oven, for the amount of time it says on the worksheet, on the recipe, and I was like, okay, and uh, take them out when they're done. I was like, all right, simple enough, and I was like, after seven minutes, I was like, are these done? And she was like, I don't know, look at your recipe, and I was like, you told me to look at the time on my recipe. Not about what to do. And she was like, no, look on your recipe and see what it's... There's specific directions. And I was like, okay, okay, okay. And I looked at those specific directions. And it was lightly browned on the top. And I was like, alright, lightly browned on top. But there were cinnamon rolls. So what was on top of them? Like the frosting stuff or whatever. It was brown frosting. So I was like, it was hard to tell. And I was like, miss, are these uh, are these good? You know, are these, uh, are these you know, looking what I'm supposed to? And she was like, I don't know, did you read the recipe? And I was like, yeah. She was like, are they done or are they not? And I was like, I'm just going to put them in for another two minutes, and uh, we'll see what they look like then. I was like, I don't know if they're right or, right, and right or wrong. I was like, all right, all right. So I did that. And, you know, obviously, it worked out my favor, because I wouldn't be very mad right now, but I would be very mad right now if it didn't. But, all right, so we, we were shown, all right, and... After two minutes, I went, and I looked, and I said, My, is that a little brown? And I was like, you know what? I'm going to go for it. So I was like, Miss Johnson, these look good to you, don't they? And she was like, yes, Normano, those look perfect. Great job. And I was like, thank you. And I brought over the other one, and like, that one looks perfect as well. Great job. And I was like, thank you, Miss. Miss. I almost said her name. We're not going to expose my teacher. And I was like, thanks, Miss. Miss blah, blah, blah. Or, you know, last name. Not blah, blah, blah. That would be kind of mean. Miss blah, blah, blah. Uh, can I have the... <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, yeah. It was definitely very... I, I wasn't very happy because, you know... She's got a... I'm not a professional cooker. Or calling her, uh, chef. So, she can't, like... Expect me to, know to, to just know what to do in that situation. Like, she just can't... It's not really how it works. You know, she's got to show me. All right, so see those little brown, you know, like that would be more acceptable, but you can't just say lightly brown. And I'm like, all right, is that lightly brown? What did it look like before? Uh, uh, because they smelled really good, and they were really good. They were really sticky, and they were good, but they weren't, you know, the best. But, you know, there wasn't, probably it wasn't very unhealthy, so. That's probably why I wasn't, uh, wasn't that great. It was good, though. It was definitely, it was definitely good. Yeah, that was definitely, that was definitely goofy. I'm going to grab this tree right here. I'm trying to get the bigger trees now because it's just easier to get the bigger ones. Because, you know, they obviously output more. Oh boy, look at this bad boy. Maybe it would help if I actually turned it. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And, um, so at my school, <clears throat> as well, I'm going to tell you guys about this. At my school, there is a lifting program. 
or for baseball and hockey players, and I am a baseball player, if you guys didn't know that. And I actually am starting to go to the um, the workouts, which is, uh, well, I started Mon uh, Wednesday. And, you know, I'm obviously, I'm not the biggest guy. You know what I'm saying? I don't have the biggest biceps or whatever. And I'm fine with men with that. I'm strong, but I don't have the biggest biceps. And, you know, obviously, I've never, I haven't really worked out before like that. And, you know, I was lifting a little 10-pounder. Like, that's pretty sad. But, you know, I got to get the form right. Uh, I was doing squats and stuff like that. And they use this cool app named uh, Volt. This isn't promotion, by the way. This is just kind of me promoting their product for free. Which I shouldn't. No, I'm kidding. It doesn't matter to me. But you just get a little app called Volt, and it tracks your workout and your analytics and stuff like that. And it's really cool, and it, like, adapts to who you are. And it asks you, are you stressed? Are you happy? Are you sad before your workout? And it basically gives you workout and amount of reps or sets based on that, which is definitely very cool, which is definitely a great feature of the app. But yeah, I've been doing that, and it's about, so my school ends out about 2.15, and there is a north, or there is two campuses, they're about five minutes away from each other, and I end on the first, let's just say it's the first campus, and I have to go to the second campus, right? Which is, I have to take like a bus down there, and they pick up, because my Basically, how it works is they're sending towns. I'm a sending town, so like I am from a town that's not. So my town doesn't go have a high school, right? So I go to a different town, completely different town for my high school, and that's what a sending town is. So like they send me to a different high school, and like um, my town pays my school, my high school, to you know let me go there and stuff like that. That's basically why. But anyways. So I get out 2.15, probably get down there, what, 2.30-ish? And I go down there and I do my lifting probably for, what, 30 minutes before I would work out. And you really have to, like, you kind of do have to push it. And it's very, um, like, it's very good on, like, your body. Like, I, I was very sore, which is a very good thing. Very good to be sore. Like, it's a good kind of sore, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's nice to be sore. So that you're doing, shows that you're doing something right, obviously. And, like, the workouts are really good. So, I recommend getting the Volt app. It's not... And, like, um, my... They have two trainers, which is really cool. They pay two trainers, which is definitely very cool. Um, and they, like, they can track everything. And they can set your workout to do this or that. And have you do that. Or this or that or that. Or, you know, whatever. So, that's definitely really cool to see that. <clears throat> it's a very good feature. Oh boy, it looks like this is jammed. Alright, perfect. We unjam that. Perfect. Let's toss that one in real quick. We're actually about full on this. Let's see. Is it going to end anytime soon? And it is gone. It is done. <clears throat> Alright, so let's uh, go and load the second load here. Uh, close or not close that down, but put this in. All right, let's get out of here, boys and girls. Second load, here we come. Yeah, I recommend getting the Volt app if you guys haven't already. It tracks your workout, analytics, all that kind of stuff, which is really cool. I love it. I love using it for the first time, and it has three different workouts, which is really cool too. I say that that's definitely fun to do that kind of stuff. However, we're giving this bread, boys. Woo! Oh, boy. Oh, we're spinning. All right, we're good. Perfect. Let's ride this trail here. Oh, boy. Let's be careful. Watch what we're doing here. Oh, into the trees. That was a bad crash. That would be bad. We just kind of flew off the hill and lost it. Once we landed, just kind of the wheels were kind of just turned that way and just went straight. And there's really no way. Well, besides not going fast over the hill to correct that.
It's not supposed to happen. Alright. Alright, boys. Perfect. <laughs> Berwick, 198 we started with. It's, I'm guessing, 225 right there on the money. 225, here we come. 225, 210, 211, 212, 213, 214, 215, 2, no, 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 not 221. 220, 220, 150. We made 22 grand from that, which is still pretty good. Perfect. Let's put the cover back on. That is going to be the end of the video, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy watching. If you did, make sure to smash the like button. Uh, keep a lookout for the next when, for the when video on Wednesday and on Friday, guys. But anyways, that's going to be the end of the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. Take it easy and peace.